Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is April 18th. This episode is related to Ehang. First, let's see the countdown to mid-2022. For today, the countdown to mid-2022 is 72 days. As mentioned before, if the type certification granting day passed mid-2022, we will present the ticking past mid-2022. This is for observing the historical event in a ceremonial form with anticipation and excitement buildup. This episode will specifically discuss the new guidance versus the previous guidance by Ehang Management for obtaining the type certification. From the discussion, the conclusion is that the new guidance of type certificate time is much more accurate this time. Next, let's see the comparison between the new and the previous guidance. Type Certificate, TC, Guidance by Ehang Management. The previous guidance was TC in next few months and was provided December 2, 2021 last year in Q3 2021 earnings call. The new guidance is TC in mid-2022 and has been provided March 29, 2022 this year in Q4 2021 earnings report. Just by looking at the text comparison, there may appear no essential difference between the two in terms of the time range uncertainty. Actually, many still remember that the management changed the wordings for the time range last year. For example, within four to six months, next few months, and so on. As such, many still thinks the uncertainty remains the same this time with the mid-2022 guidance. But we need to know things are not static, and we need to look beyond the surface then, you will see the situation has changed greatly this time. Before we go on with the next slice, we may mention a significant difference here. The previous guidance was provided verbally or more casually during a phone conference call. But the new guidance has been provided more formally in writing for the earnings report filed with SEC Security Authority. And the full year revenue project has been made based on the new TC guidance. This indicates the Ehang management is more confident with the new guidance this time. It should be noted that it is CAAC, not Ehang, who decides the time for TC. The Ehang management knows this and is expected to first obtain the feedback from the CAAC and then give out the guidance. But last year, CAAC itself might not know the exact scope of the certification project and could not give an accurate estimate for the TC project completion time. Next, we will discuss why there was a big uncertain for the TC completion time estimate last year. This is related to the project development method for the CAAC certification project. Next, let's review the three typical project development methods, which we talked in an episode last year. Project Development Methods Agile, Adaptive Waterfall, Predictive Progressive Elaboration, In Between the Agile method is often used by software development startups, which make frequent changes and iterations to their software projects. This method has the least certainty with the project completion time because the scope and tasks of the project rely on user feedbacks and are not known in advance. For the waterfall method, the scope and tasks are predetermined, and the complete time is set in advance. The progressive elaboration method is in between. We will elaborate a bit later. Next, let's see the plain descriptions of the three methods. Agile, make it up as you go along. Waterfall, make it up before you start, live with the consequences. Progressive elaboration, continuously improve and detail a plan as more information becomes available. Next, let's see the method used for the CAAC certification development project. The progressive elaboration method has been used for the CAAC certification project. For example, Ehang conducts EH216 trial flights. CAAC will then incorporate the trial flight results into certification process, review and suggest different trial flights for Ehang to conduct. CAAC will further incorporate results into certification process. The iterative process will go on until the project completion. As you can see, in the beginning, there is a big uncertainty in estimating the project completion time. But towards the end of the project, the uncertainty will be reduced significantly, and the estimation of the completion time will be much more accurate. Now, let's see why the situation is quite different this time. Why new guidance, TC in mid-2022, is much more accurate this time. The information here is from the new Q4 earnings report on March 29, 2022. Progresses that have been made since the last TC guidance. 
In February 2022, CAAC formally adopted special conditions for the EH216 SAAV type certification. This is a big milestone, not only for EHANG certification project, but also for the aviation industry. The special condition is the certification standard specifically for the EHANG aircraft. Now the scope and tasks for the certification project are finally determined and fixed. This has removed the big uncertainty from the project completion time. Due to the special conditions, the project has progressed into the compliance review phase. And also due to the special conditions, EHANG has been able to prepare and submitted the following two plans to CAAC with solid means of compliance. Project Specific Certification Plan, PSCP, and Certification Plan, CP. The two plans here are expected to contain specific timelines for tasks involved. And the EHANG team and CAAC certification team have jointly worked on the project and frequently communicated. CAAC may have accepted and agree with the plans in principle. Presumably, this time, with the special conditions and the two plans, CAAC can give a much more accurate estimate for the project completion time and then give the estimate feedback to EHANG, who may in turn forward to the feedback to the public. In conclusion, the Progressive Elaboration Certification Project has entered the final stage and the uncertain for the project completion time has been reduced significantly. This time, the estimation of the project completion time, TC in mid-2022, is much more accurate. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.